Hello everyone and welcome back to Court Climbs. Here are some of my favorite routes that I've climbed in the Red River Gorge over the past two years. I'm going to list them by crag, starting with the crags that have the most routes that I love, but they aren't in any particular order. All of these routes are 510 and under. First up, the Chocolate Factory in Bald Rock Fork Recreational Preserve. There are three routes here that I love. The first two are a pair of 510s called Oompa and Loompa. These routes are both 510s and are slightly overhung. They are pockety and around 60 feet tall. The Chocolate Factory also is home to a really great 510 called EGBG, a 90-foot route that is on the left side of the Chocolate Factory. The crux of EGBG is the roof towards the beginning. It's also cool because there's a big Quaco that you can sit in towards the middle of the climb. Moving on, the next area is Fantasia in the Northern Gorge. Creature Feature is a classic 5'9 that's a must-try route if you're in the area. After a balancey start, you pull through the roof and do this big left heel hook, which is definitely the crux of the climb by far. Then the rest is just a jug fest on these big plates of rock. It's around 70 feet tall and just is a really cool route to be on. Another cool climb in Fantasia is Pogue Ethics, an 80 foot 5'9 plus with a small traverse at the beginning and a crux at the large flake in the middle. The next crag is Bruise Brothers in Muir Valley. Bruise Brothers features a lot of cool beginner routes, but if I had to pick, I think my favorite routes are Ohio Climbing, a 60 foot 5'8 that is one of the very first climbs I ever got on at the red, and Rat Stew a 510 on the right side of the wall. Bruise Brothers is one of the easiest crags to get to with a lot of lower grade routes, so it can get kind of slammed, but in my opinion, it's worth going to anyways. Staying in Mirror Valley, another crag I really like is Sunnyside. Sunnyside has a route called Cocopelli's Dream, a 5'9 that goes up the side of this big Texas-shaped flake. It's just a cool climb because of the way it looks. Sunnyside also has this 510B called Machete that's around 65 feet tall. The first part of it is relatively easy climbing, and then it has this huge pull over a roof that really makes you work. I think Machete is probably on my list of favorite climbs simply because I haven't managed to do that move yet. Every time, man. Okay, so there are two more routes in Mere Valley that I really love. The first one is called Dynamite an 80 foot 5'9 at the Great Arch, and it's just a fantastic route. It's jugs the entire way up with no ledges or anything to get in the way if you wanted to take some whippers for practice or just for fun. The view at the top is really awesome too. You can look out and see just this valley of trees and another crag off in the distance. And then the second route is Mantelier. Mantelier is a 5'9 at Coyote Cliffs, and it's a fun route that starts with an undercling move up to a big ledge that you mantle up and over. It's fairly straightforward climbing until the fourth bolt, then it gets a little balancey and it has a series of three to four mantles before the anchors. The reason it's one of my favorite routes is because it runs up this dihedral, which just makes it look really cool, and then three-fourths of the way up, the climb there's this like big hueco that you can stand in and hang out to rest. A route that I love at Global Village is a 510A called Kentucky Pinstripe. Kentucky Pinstripe's hardest part is the first few clips. When you get to the top of this climb, the view is simply incredible. I think it's one of my favorite views that I've ever done out of all the climbs at the Red. It's a route I really like. Speaking of which, If you're finding this video interesting, I'd appreciate it if you gave it a like. I really do appreciate it. If you want more information about the Red River Gorge, check out the guide that I made here specifically about Red River Gorge climbing. Or you can always watch one of my Red River Gorge climbing vlogs to see me climbing some of the routes that I mentioned in this video. What are some of your favorite routes at the Red? I'd love to hear them in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, stay hyped.